uh, you know, get away, you know, uh, have a few um, tequilas, you know, and kick back on the beach, you know, smoke a cigar and relax, grow the beard real long, take a year off, you know, spend some money. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just got married. You know, have a real honeymoon. You know what I mean? That That's what I thought um, it was about with um, Dean Ambrose. But, you know, Dean Ambrose um, earlier put out a video. Um, John Moxley is back. The video uh, pretty much was a um, uh, enactment of, uh, a reenactment of uh, getting out of jail. Yeah, like a prison break. So let's just call it, you know, you know, Dean Ambrose, now John Moxley, Moxley has gotten out of jail. Um, obviously, I mean, putting this kind of video out, I mean, it says something. Come on. I mean, um, your car is the extension, you know, of the man. You know, the video is definitely uh, is saying something. <laughs> you get that? Yeah, no, I, mean, I got you. Like Cars exception, man. You, you, like, you like you like that? Um, yeah, yeah, but um, definitely putting this video out saying, man, I'm free now. I, 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 I'm ready to just do what I what, what I want to do. You know, reclaiming the name John Moxley definitely. Um, you know, that's like, you know, uh, giving himself some kind of freedom. You know, being released all over again. Because uh, I trust me, I know how that is right there. Because I remember being cold. And when, when I was cold, I was like, man, I don't know who I am. But when I was Booker T, I was like, man, I was at home. So so I, I understand him going back to John Moxley and how he feels. But but I tell you, that, that brings me to the state uh, of the wrestling business, man. Because you got so many guys now that's, that they're just not happy. You know, it's so many guys, you know, uh, asking for releases. You know what I mean? You got so many guys that just, you know, uh, it ain't about, you know, uh, the money. It's about being happy. It's not a bad thing, right? It's not bad to be happy. Um, I think that the video that, that uh, Dean Ambrose, I guess now we should call him John Moxley. Uh, the John Moxley. video that, that John Moxley put out today, I thought it was really well done. Now, there's a lot of, people said there's a lot of symbolism in it, more so than just the prison break. You know, he escaped prison by breaking the walls down, right? There was a big dog chasing him out of the prison yard, right? And then the final thing that you see are a pair of dice that have, uh, I think, the numbers two and five on it, which double or nothing's going down on the 25th. You know, a lot of, there was a lot of stuff that people read into it. Oh, I didn't, that, I didn't get that right there. Yeah, that, a lot of people that, that, saw that, some stuff that, yeah, uh, yeah. That, 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 that was there that we could have read into, that break the walls down, maybe he's going to Jericho. You know, yeah. maybe Roman Reigns chased him out of WWE. This is what the fans are saying. Yeah. This is what the theories are. And he's going to show up on the 25th. There's a lot of little messages. Subliminals. Yeah, subliminal messages in yeah. the video. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I didn't, I'm about to go back and watch it now. I know, it's like a Marvel movie. You know, I, you know, I, I, I'm serious. I didn't, I didn't actually um, catch it. I just thought he was breaking down of prison. You know what I mean? You know, like, you know, El Chapo. You know, so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me get up out of this mug. Uh, but uh, I understood the end game as far as him being free. Um, nowadays, man, it, it, that's what that's what I'm talking. That's what I want to talk about. You know, as far as uh, like I say, the state of wrestling right now is that what we are now with uh, professional wrestling and professional wrestlers. As far as you know, um, like like music now. You know, Beyonce, she don't need the the production team to actually do everything for her now. You know, she got social media. She she can promote everything on social media now. Boom, you know what I mean? She she's she's um you know uh, keeps all the money. There is no middleman. Only thing she got to do is pay taxes on it. Now we got you know a lot of these young guys, and we got social media, and, and they can be seen anywhere in the world. And, and like I say, I can guarantee you, I can almost guarantee you, there is at least. 80 shows going on every weekend somewhere around the world. Oh, it, it, probably more than that. You know, probably more than that. And I think that there is a lot of freedom now that the guys had that they didn't have before. Um, and I think that back when y'all were on top, it was about doing two things, right? Doing your job to the best of your ability with whatever they gave you and making a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. So you could provide for everybody, yeah, yeah. right? That was yeah. your that was your two jobs. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that... Um, especially kind of my generation of people, the little people probably about 10 years older than me, money isn't as big of a motivator anymore. And I'm not exactly sure why. Right now, it seems that creative freedom is the main thing that drives everybody. If I can live comfortably and be creatively free, I'd much prefer that than to not be and make a whole lot of money. That's the way I am right now. Right. I mean, I love my life right now. I mean, when I was on the road, I was making a lot of money. 
but I was not happy at all. There was there was no way I could be happy. I had no freedom. I, I was I was you know it was, it was in a hotel. I was in a rental car. You know I was in an arena. You know I was having a lot of fun. You know what I mean? I was seeing the world. It was it was really really awesome. But as far as um, having any real quality time, um, that went out the window. Now on the other hand, uh, that's what we do. Uh, that's what we. That's what. That's who we are. Uh, we are road warriors. We are the guys that you know want to get out there and be able to see every corner of that world and be able to do that. Uh, also, we are those guys. You know, uh, we don't get in this business. You know, just for the you know the checks and championships. We want. We want WrestleMania. You know what I mean. We want. We want to be. We want to be able to perform in front of you know upwards seventy thousand people or more, you know, uh, you know, stepping into that arena, that arena, stepping that stadium, actually stepping into that stadium, stepping in that twenty by twenty where everybody came just to see you. You want to do that at least one time, and, and I do understand that. Uh, at least once upon a time, that was a dream. I wonder if that dream is still true. I wonder if that dream is still reality. Um, because right now, it seems like guys are happy um, being able to just go out and perform. I seem like these young guys now are just happy, um, you know, making money, you know, on their own ter terms and being able to have that freedom. You know, um, you see so many guys who, uh, you know, who, you know, were, are reluctant to actually go to the big time because they know exactly what it's going to be like. I know when I fr first, you know, um, you know, got into business uh, back with WCW, um, I loved that schedule. And, and people say, man, are you going to go over, you know, the other side? I'm like, man, those guys, man, they, they work everywhere. They work all over the world. You know what I mean? Um, you know, have we moved past that now as far as this new generation? Uh, these guys seem like they want something different. It seems that way. Yeah, I think it just, I don't want to beat a dead horse and repeat myself, but I think it's just, I want to do what I want to do. And I think social media do, is a lot to do with that. Social media has given us this ability to just say, this is who I am. These are the things I'm interested in. And then people follow you. And now you got this following and you want to feed that following, right? You just don't want to feed, you know, the beast, for instance. You want to feed the following. You want to grow it. You want to cultivate it. You want to touch the people. You want to do things that interest you and them at the same time. And to be able to do that, you have to call your own shots. You have to be able to call your own shots if you want to cultivate the life that you want. And not everyone can do that within a corporate atmosphere or a corporate environment. But the people that can, like you, when you were able to, to be on the road all the time, or maybe even you take a guy like John Cena, who's able to live in the, and thrive in that corporate environment, obviously they rise to the top. If you're kind of stuck there in the middle and you don't, you're not really a conformist, you still want to do what you want to do, but you got to try to live within the bubble. I think it's really hard for somebody who especially has that creative passion inside of them to want to go out there and do something else. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, you got a lot. I mean, back in the day we had, uh, you know, WC, WCW, of course, you got WWE, uh, of course. Um, yeah, you know, you can go to Mexico and make some money. Uh, Puerto and, Rico, you know, right? You can go to Puerto thing. Rico uh, as well uh, and make some money. Uh, uh, you wasn't going to get, you wasn't going to get rich <laughs> or anything like that. Especially, You'd have a living. Especially going to Puerto Rico. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, uh, you, you can still do what you, you love doing. Uh, uh, you can go to Japan. Uh, Japan, uh, back in the day, um, those guys were paying good money. You know, I remember uh, uh, Manny Fernandez, um, back in the day, uh, Manny Fernandez was making, you know, three, four, five grand a week. Yeah, yeah. That's good money um, today. <laughs> you know, that's great money. I yeah. mean, seriously. Uh, uh, so, so um, with today's standards, you know, you you got companies like Lucha Underground. I don't, I don't think you're gonna get rich there. I mean, right now they're having their, their problems. Yeah, I don't even know trouble. if they're gonna be back. Exactly. Um, this is like a season, seasonal uh, wrestling organization. You got Impact Wrestling uh, and those guys. You know, I don't, I don't know how, how many huge, huge contracts uh, Impact could actually. Um, afford, afford yeah. these days. Uh, you got New Japan uh, wrestling. These guys, you know, they're doing it big. They're doing it big enough to where they now have a dojo in, in in L.A. You know, so for these guys to be uh, moving, you know, on to foreign soil and trying to build, um, you know, you know, not, you know, outward in, but now inward out is is amazing um, um, for, for, the, for, for New Japan to be able to, you know, go into Madison Square Garden. It says a whole lot about those guys. It says they're moving up, um, as well as they're, um, you know, trying to invade, 
you know, the West, as well as now we have AEW. Um, AEW right now is making a lot of, lot of noise as far as, uh, you know, the roster is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, of course, we're still waiting on that um, that t that TV deal, where these guys are going to be at. You know, rumors are flying all over the place. Um, still nothing uh, concrete yet or anything like that. And then you got the the, the huge, huge enchilada, uh, which is WWE, the machine, you know what I mean? Which, you know, that company right now, you know, I don't know. How many how many people you think work? How many? How many like employees? contracted wrestlers? Yeah, I mean... I mean Couple hundred? No, maybe maybe four hundred probably. Yeah, I think they probably got about four hundred guys on the country right now. That's crazy. Which is uh, that's the most ever that's by a, far. That's monster, baby. That's monster. Hey guys, uh, we're gonna be talking wrestling, uh, boxing uh, all night long. Not all night for the next couple of hours. Stick around, all the fame.